Hospitals are businesses. They want those beds filled and emptied. They don't want women hanging around in the labor room. Technology is technology. It's not stopping. So if you're going to have good stuff, you might as well use it to get the best outcome. Maternity care in the United States is in crisis. People don't have the information. Medical decisions are being made for monetary and legal reasons, not because they're good for the mother and the baby. This is Pitocin, which is the medication given through the IV that causes contractions. Just check that she's on pit. Just make sure that yeah. she's on pit. And I asked to keep upping the pit. And if you're uncomfortable, we can always give you more. Is this an improvement or are we making things worse? How often do you get to see a fully natural birth? Rarely. Almost never. <laughs> Everywhere else in the world, you see midwives attending 70 or 80 percent of all the births. And the United States stands alone. You want to talk big lobby, big dollars, they can kind of call a lot of shots. Accusations tonight that some hospitals are not being upfront with patients who are expecting a baby. Cesarean is extremely doctor friendly. It's 20 minutes and I'll be home for dinner. Basically, what the medical profession has done is convince the vast majority of women that they don't know how to birth. If I could do that, I could do anything. To me, that's the power of birthing, and that is what we are taking away from women. It wasn't an illness. It wasn't something that needed to be numbed. It needed to be experienced. It was the most adventurous day I've ever had in my life. I don't even have a, like a diaper. I don't even I have to get there. I cannot have another contraction in this taxi cab. Switch on a light switch and you go to the moon. This is what I was after. This is what I wanted for my child. Nothing compares to the privilege of giving life and the responsibility of that. Nothing. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god.